Valency. Let's talk about valency. What is it? The combining capacity of an element and radical is called valency of that element or radical. But how it is declared, how it is designed, and how do we use this in chemical reaction? To understand this more clearly, I want to tell you something more related with valency. Let's say chlorine, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. These four elements are taken. And we are going to combine all these with hydrogen. One atom of chlorine, when combines with hydrogen, what is formed? It combines with one atom of hydrogen. When oxygen is combined with hydrogen, then what is found? One atom combines with two atoms of hydrogen. In the same way, nitrogen combines with three atoms of hydrogen. And in the same way, one atom of carbon combines with four atoms of hydrogen. And when hydrogen combines with chlorine, they form hydrogen chloride. When this oxygen and hydrogen combines, they form water. And when hydrogen and nitrogen combines, ammonia. And when carbon and hydrogen combines, they form methane. Looking at this, we are now confused. What is the confusion? What is the combining capacity of this element? The combining capacity of chlorine seems to be 1 if compared with hydrogen. But combining capacity of hydrogen seems to be differing. That's why what is told, what is declared being very simple element, simplest atom, the valency of hydrogen is declared as 1 and all the elements, valency of all other elements are declared with respect to hydrogen. I mean to say by comparing these elements with hydrogen. What is done when we take one atom of an element and combine with hydrogen, how many hydrogen atom combines with one atom of that element that is declared as valency of that element. In, the, in this uh, example, Valency of oxygen is 2. Why 2? Because 1 atom of oxygen combines with 2 atom of hydrogen. 2 oxygen atom never combines with 1 atom of hydrogen. We cannot change this ratio. That's why valency of oxygen is 2. Nitrogen is valency is 3 because 1 atom of nitrogen always combines with 3 atom of hydrogen. And in the same way, carbon is valency is 4 and chlorine is valency is 1. And valency of hydrogen is if declared as 1, then we can easily declare the valency of other element by reacting one uh, atom of that element or combining one atom of that element with hydrogen. This way, valency is declared. So, we can say that the number of hydrogen atom which combines with one atom of an element is declared as valency of that element. But the question comes like this also. If an element doesn't react with hydrogen, it doesn't combine with hydrogen, then uh, what is the valency of that element? How to declare the valency of that element? And the same is for radical also. If a, a radical or, or, uh, or an element doesn't combine with hydrogen, then we cannot declare their valency. No, there is another method also. If an element doesn't combine with hydrogen, its valency can be declared by combining it with chlorine. Valency of chlorine is already declared as 1. So, instead of hydrogen, we can use chlorine to find out the valency of that element. Thus, lastly, what can we conclude? Valency of an element is declared as number of hydrogen atoms which combine with one atom of that element is valency of that element. Radical also same. How many hydrogen atoms combines with that radical? That is the valency of that radical. If hydrogen doesn't combine, then we can declare valency of that element or radical by combining it with chlorine. This way, we can declare valency of element and radical.